I'm Kathleen Ligorio Jansen. I'm president of the Pacific Italian Alliance, and I'm here today with Frank Garavano, the founder of the Pacific Italian Alliance, to welcome you to the University of Pacific and the photo exhibit that we're establishing here at the library. I'd like to read to you just a bit of the background of the Alliance's history. It's been established to strengthen and benefit the tie between the Central Valley of California and the Italy of today and yesterday. The Alliance celebrates the Italian heri heritage of the many Italian Americans who have moved from Italy to this valley and seeks to forge new relationships with the nation that was their homeland. The Alliance is a partnership between the Italian American community and the Central Valley of California, the University of Pacific, and the Italian government. We hope to sponsor many events such as the exhibit that you'll see today and welcome you and for further information you'll know whom to contact. Thank you. My name is Bob Benedetti and I am Dean of the College at the University of the Pacific. This is Serafino Mariani. He is an instructor in social science and an Italian at Lincoln High School here in Stockton. We're here to present to you a show that came from Italy describing the way that the Ligurians from the area around Genoa came to the New World, to the United States and to Latin America. Serafino is going to describe briefly where the exhibit came from. Serafino? Yes. This exhibit has been organized by the Regione Liguria in collaboration with the Port of History Museum under the sponsorship of the Consulate General of Italy. Originally shown in Genoa at Palazzo Serra Girace in 1989. We're very pleased to have had this exhibit at the university. It describes in some detail the way our ancestors came to the United States. It's full of pictures of their leaving Italy, leaving the port of Genoa, and then they're establishing a new world and a new life for themselves in the United States. It's been augmented by pictures from our own area, from Stockton and from Sacramento, and you'll see those at the end of the exhibit. This exhibit does a very good job of reminding us is that people from Liguria had been traveling around the world for hundreds of years, not just in the 19th and the 20th centuries. In fact, people from Genoa were among the earliest sailors and soldiers that discovered parts of the Eastern Mediterranean again after the Dark Ages, helped on the Crusades, and brought Christianity back to the area we call the Near East. During that period, Ligurians set up all sorts of colonies in the eastern Mediterranean and were very important in trade routes to the east for spices and other delicacies and luxuries. We think of that period primarily though because of Christopher Columbus who was a Ligurian who sailed though for Spain in 1492. He was just one of the many Ligurian adventurers. One of the things though about that early period was that people came back. Ligurians didn't settle they conquered for Genoa and then came home again. What was to distinguish the latter part of the 19th century was the setting up of colonial areas or places of permanent residence for the Ligurians. But to get a little closer to that and to have a little more context on the 18th and 19th century, Serafino is going to point out some of the uh, documents here on this panel. Serafino? Yes. This panel here is titled Una società in movimento, which in Italian means the society in movement, which is very, a very um, good title for the Ligurians. Um, this document is a death certificate from Buenos Aires of a Ligurian. Um, right below we also have another death certificate from Peru. And here we have a document which documents the people, the Ligurians, leaving their um, comune, their cities, and checking in with the government on where they're going and when they plan on coming back. Now, unlike the United States, in Italy you have to check in and check out with your police, and so we have interesting records of 
people in Liguria in the 1840s and 50s going to Buenos Aires or Montevideo and then coming back to their homes in Italy. Obviously, this two-way migration, this pattern of going abroad and coming back, continued through much of the 19th century. However, there was a growing interest in settlement. And one of the first adventures to bring back good reports of where people might settle were some of the people that moved from Liguria to California for gold in the 1840s, 50s, and 60s. This panel here describes a particular adventurer who sent back letters and indeed contributed to articles and books which interested his fellow Ligurians in this beautiful coast here from San Francisco up to Seattle, Washington, and particularly the inland areas of Stockton, Sacramento, and the Mother Lode. Indeed, it was his stories and the stories of others who first brought California to the attention of Ligurians as a place to come and settle and seek their permanent fortunes. Molto interessante. The journal of Andrea Gagliardo, very interested in telling the stories of his trials and tribulations in the New World, as well as many other publications which told the Ligurians back home of the riches and fortunes found in the new land. As you can see, there are colorful descriptions of the native people of the Americas and Bartolomeo Bossi, who found his fortune in the New World and wrote about it. Degli economisti. In English, that is the influence of the economists. The latter part of the 19th century was the growth of the study of economics in the universities. And one of the uh, professors in Italy at the University of Genoa, Professor Bacardo, became quite famous for his ideas of founding colonies in Latin America. He argued that there were already half a million Italians in the areas near Argentina and uh, uh, Brazil, and that it would be easy for the Italians to found a very profitable colony there. Now, of course, there were people who rebutted his arguments, and one of these documents records one of those critics. But he captured the enthusiasm of many of the people in Genoa, and not only those people, but other people in northern Italy and southern Europe, for the idea of an Italian Latin America. He then became one of the influences for our ancestors to seek uh, a new life in the new world. Another influence is shown by this panel over here. This panel records the number of circuses and other entertainments that Italians brought to the New World and then came home again. And those travelers who brought circuses and uh, other performances, theater, to the New World came back and told their relatives of the opportunities that they found when they were touring Latin America and the United States. Venite, venite, comprate i nuovi i biglietti per il nuovo mondo qui. Venite. One of the things, in addition to the cards and letters and journals that encouraged people to come to the New World, was the shipping companies and travel agents who had a lot of money to be made if they got people to come. These panels show some of their. Uh, sales pitches and this one this letter here is particularly interesting because here the shipping companies are asking for government subsidies uh, to help them carry their cargo to the new world this is the typical poster to sell people on using this particular shipping line to carry family uh, to America and Latin America over here we have a picture of one of the travel agencies and some of the correspondence back and forth with their clients. Just like today, travel agents advertised and tried to encourage people to move to the new world, to set up a new life in a new land. <laughs> 